How do you rate the performance of Kenya's IG, Joseph Boynet? Do Twitter's at Akisa Andera, at Yusuf Ibra, at KTN is KE. The hashtag to use is KTN Prime. Would love to hear what your thoughts are on how the Inspector General of Police, Joseph Boynet, has performed so far in his four-year tenure as it draws to a close. Basically, we're looking at Boynet's scorecard there. Scorecard, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Now, even as you send in your tweets, of course, we're going to read them within this broadcast. Now, over to yet another story that has uh, elicited a lot of reaction, which has everything to do with the help loan. And every year, one million youth joined the job market, adding it to the uh, ever-growing unemployed youth, whom majority could be help defaulters put on notice by the Ministry of Education. Caroline B. talks to a jobless graduate who fears could make it to the list should he fail to get a job soon enough. Wednesday, Education Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohammed announced that her ministry would partner with law enforcement agencies to recover 7.2 billion shillings of help loans from 74,000 defaulters. But majority of these defaulters are unemployed youth hunting for jobs. <laughs> In Madare, Area 4, one of the informal neighborhoods in Nairobi, lives Charles Abour. He graduated in 2018 with a degree in genomics science from JQuat, the only such course offered in the country. The 26-year-old is fearful that his course dealing with genetical studies may be one of those unaccredited by the Commission for University Education over high unemployed graduates. He lives in his brother's humble abode, a four-walled room where rent is 3,500 shillings and movement is restricted. But a job, I would say, it's not something easy because we are so many out there, by the way. He's not yet one year old since he cleared school, the period given by help before repayment starts. But the thoughts of unemployment and the involvement of police in the defaulter hunt down sends jitters. We are also going to partner with our law enforcement agencies to track down those that are holding, the, the defaulters that are holding jobs and yet reluctant to stand up to be counted as reliable and responsible citizens. So we were being offered 35,000 per, per academic year and we went for four good academic years. That would amount to 140,000. His greatest challenge has been job hunting. Worse still, internship opportunities are rare. I have classmates who are still out there. They've not even gone for their attachment. Leave, leave alone the internship because the, the, the attachment is the one that you, you're normally not paid. He has given up on job chasing and is now concentrating on growing his musical talent and producing songs and just maybe money will start trickling in. Interestingly, Or maybe three years. But since you to join the internship, so where would we get the, the, the one year experience or the two years experience? Upon the announcement by Education CS Amina Mohammed to crack down on defaulters with the assistance of law enforcers, feedback, especially from unemployed defaulters, went viral on various social platforms. So isn't it but a job? Okay, it depends on the amount that company ita kwa nilipa so from the from the amount is where by a portion of it neither to me a kulipa help a 2018 survey by the kenya national bureau 